Good my people, and I welcome once again to Football Mede Mede Podcast uh, with the Republicans. And of course, we don't under but this lovely, wonderful Wednesday to make sure say we should clearly I put for inside the African Cup of Nations. Where still they go on for inside Ivory Coast? My name is Najo Vita, aka I don't work come alone. I'm here with my goons, my guys, the guys where we say sabi when it comes to talking football. And they talk about um, Emmanuel Atta, and of course, Honor Kalu. Uh, Vita, please correct you? yourself. One guy sabi, one guy I don't know what he sabi. Correct yourself. Um, Jovita, good, uh, good morning, uh, hey, good, day, good evening, good welcome. every time. I don't know the time where I did, but I, I did very, very happy to be For here. those waiting, they are brought anywhere, to you. Anywhere, anywhere, you understand? Mm. I'm the richest, most expensive football wow, commentator. Wow, 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 wow. About 13th in the world. Mm. You know, so like God, you are nice, Abby. Mm. Richie? And your data goes. Can we start talking about <laughs> serious things? <laughs> All right, my people, without further ado, make we get down to business. And of course, the African Cup of Nations don't enter the quarterfinal phase. And of course, Nigeria go meet Angola as far as that one day consigned. But then, so far, so good. And are they impressed by the performances of the Super Eagles so far? If anybody knows they're impressed hmm. by this Cup of Nations, that person could be depressed. Hmm. Because this hands down now one of the best. One of the best in terms of football, bro. Beautiful football and sexy. People need to give me the respect to what I deserve. Mm. Now, I hear this podcast talk say, Ghana no go qualify. KB go qualify. Mm. I said it, video evidence. Now, me on radio confidently said it. Say, Morocco and Senegal go they kicked off mm. after the tournament. I said it, Buchina Balaba from Umuaya, Abia State. I said it. Mm. Very proud thing. I need my respect. I need my flowers to. I'm a proud man. Proud Ibo man, I need my flowers to be given to me. Because I nobody in this world said it. Hmm. Especially that Ghana, eh, 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 Morocco, Senegal. Nobody hmm. can even rig it. This is not the best. We don't see small countries. They play ball. Nobody they fear anymore. By the way, shout out to Ivory Coast. Their stadiums, class. Yeah. Their fans, class. And these teams, they express themselves in a very good way. Shout out to the referees too, officiating. Class, the only bad officiating. And that man, he will not get a red card. That was the only bad officiating. Class. So if you know they impress with this cup of nation, you go to depress. Uh, plenty lions don't fall come out. The Taranga lions, they don't come out. The Atlas lions, they don't come out. The Indomitable lions, they don't come out. Join some before, before winners of the AFCON, we don't come out. And now we don't get the last eight as far as it is concerned talking about nigeria Champagne. angola dr congo guinea mali Cote d'Ivoire, cape verde and of course south africa for all these fixtures where they're on ground right now mm. for nigeria which kind of changes do they expect jose Paseiro to make for this next game against angola because tori would they hear from angola now say the country they give the team everything to use beats nigeria yeah um i don't expect the coach, Nigerian coach, to do any change already because um, from the opening game of the tournament, let's mm. be sincere. I'm going to just speak the fact. A lot of people, if you understand football, me personally, I know the impressed with Nigerian performance. Our opening game against Equatorial Guinea, where we draw one one. Well, after that game, from every other game to that time, I can see improvement. And one of the improvements, as you say, now the tactical way where the coach they play for me defense. Mm. In front line, you no know, they productive enough. They know they ambitious. If you come out with to save for that front, that front they useless. But from the midfield and the defense, it's okay. So if now in game pattern, say now to the defend, if you get chance, come on, go lock up. If now in defense pattern, me, I no go say make uh, Jose Passero change him in lineup. Make it continue the same lineup. Provided say we beat Angola. In that semi-final. Before this game, before this African Cup of Nations, one of the issues when Nigeria they get na goalkeeper. Sure. And as it did so, we don't see from the even when they invited Mwa Balikom, I remember so we talk about him here. A lot of people live off outside, no really gel no waiting Pasero do because nobody knew him. Yes. And now this guy don't prove himself. Just one goal we don't concede since this tournament starts, and now he can't get one job. If this guy no go they fit for Angola. Uzohon, our best option, or make we go for Olonu Leke Ojo, we say, we never even try. If the unknown became the known, hmm. still continue with the unknown. Wow. Uwambali, we know Noam. I didn't deliver. Ojo, we know to Noam. Ingo fit deliver. Hmm. Uzohon, we know Noam. <laughs> Uzohon, we know Noam. <laughs> see, hmm. see, hmm. see, I have nothing against Uzohon. Good goalkeeper on your own day. 
But if you don't get confidence, you can't do confidence in a footballer. You see that one bally boy? The way they jump, you're going to see this one, confidence, they but you might not really be a great goalkeeper, oh. but in the jump. So let's still continue with the unknown of Ojo. And Ojo is one of the best goalkeepers mm. for the Nigerian Professional Football League. Who's all confident they down? And that match versus Angola, let's not sleep on it. Those Angola boys, one of the best ballers for this tournament, they get two strikers with the hot. If your name is Babulu or Shomolu, if you get that kind of name, boy, they your body. And don't forget, <laughs> so we get his child Angola. Yeah. 2005, Aqua. Yeah. Aqua. I didn't watch that match with my uncle at Jigolo that time. That, that Aqua make all of us cry. And these Angola boys, I see so many videos, then they're very confident. And their government, they solidly behind them. They give them money, promise them houses. Maybe they won't promise them 15 veggies. We don't know. But then they're very, very confident. Yeah, I said I promised them like um, they sent a 5.4 million. They are double, they they are double, they are double their mm. wages. Because, see, whether I would like them or not, Nigeria, now the trophy team of this tournament. You beat Nigeria, you don't win. What you consider, say, other countries don't also jabo come out. So Nigeria right now is the highest ranked team. For this tournament. For this tournament based on and the... of course, we don't see how they take play. Chance 2018, we see Nigeria beat Angola 2-1. Uh, FIFA World Cup 2005, just like you take Tokam, uh, Nigeria won oh, Angola 1. Uh, 2004, Angola won Nigeria 0. Ah. AFCON 2003, then play 2-2. Two -two. Angola 0-0 zero -zero with Nigeria 2002, AFCON. And of course, FIFA uh, World Cup 1989, Nigeria won Angola. No too much difference between Nigeria and Angola. Very, very close Mm. Close Waka, 92 of them they get. Mm. But then that quarterfinal game between Angola and Nigeria, mm. you feel, say, the super eagles, because according to Ademola Lukman, they say they get better with each game. Exactly. Mm. But the stage where we're there now, not waiting to go, they get better with each game. Now, what do we go bring our A game to? Mm. How you feel, say, that one go? Come Be, out. See, make I tell you, this game against Angola, based on the history where Nigeria and Angola don't get, mm. and based on this particular tournament. In fact, the entire continent of Africa eyes they on the Super Eagles. If you look at the eight teams, I know you disrespect the other participants. You understand? Como Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria is a short banker to leave the tournament. So mm. hope they on them. Pray Nigeria on them. Nigeria is not a short banker. You understand? What do you mean by short banker? Like, if, if anybody mm. supposed to this. Don't forget it. And again, anybody. Don't forget say football. In as much as in a competition. Don't forget say football is also in marketing. Go check CAF website right now. You understand? Nigeria, they drive traffic. Mm. You understand? For Nigeria today, they, and I believe, say, even the organizers and CAF, they go ensure say, they do many things possible to make sure say, Nigeria still remain in the tournament. Forget all the promises where Angola the gates. And this one, I win a match and get to the next stage. But you make ask you, now Sorry. we don't see the, the remaining eight teams. They started yes. with uh, 24 teams and now we they see eight teams will remain. You feel say Nigeria being a past winner, I know say the only people don't win them out of all these people now Nigeria, DR Congo, we don't win a very long time ago, and Africa, Cote South Africa. And South South Africa. Africa. Yeah. You feel say pressure they more on Nigeria than any of these countries. Two million people. percent common sense. Hmm. All the big countries are out. All big countries are out. Favorite, Senegal, Morocco, out. And Nigeria. Don't beat Ivory Coast. And Nigeria be the only team. We don't cut it only one goal. So the pressure right now, if you don't on 20, you don't go 100. Hmm. Because nearly everybody, they can't do Nigeria. And the other thing, they won't make Nigeria lose because Nigerian fans, Nigerians were annoying. Oh, <laughs> Nigerians? The matter who they make, Africa are there against Nigeria, in case you don't know. Ghana, join them. We don't have the entire. <laughs> Cameroon people don't join them, right? The entire. All African countries, big countries, mm. they are against Nigeria because we didn't make mouth. It's natural to an average. I'm a, I'm a typical Nigerian. Yeah. If we don't make mouth, we won't do. But if we sleep on Angola, if we are very confident on Angola, Angola can break us easily. If we sleep, if these players go believe that we'll be the big boys here, if they know they're humble enough, sexy, sexy. I don't want to give prediction here because I'm emotionally attached to Nigeria. And I'm a great man. I know that when you involve emotion in making decisions, you fail. So I go just wait, they chill, they observe. But if then they're very overconfident, that's to the go long. Where you feel, say, Nigeria go from win this game? From the goalkeeper 
the defense, the attack, the midfield. Where you feel, say, Nigeria will take win this game against Angola? There's a particular department of the game where Nigeria lacks is a lot of people need to talk about. Every other department, to be fair to the coach, you don't try. Mm. Goalkeeping, defense, don't try. Mifi don't do okay. So I feel, say, the, the particular area of our game on Friday where we go win the game against Angola, not the attack. Mm. It, maybe a certain player will rise up to the occasion and he will deliver Nigeria. Just a goal now we need. And Sexy. Will play well. If Nigeria won't win area. that match, it is very easy. We'll get the best defense, right? Defend properly. In every game with Nigeria they play, Nigeria they create at least three or four chances. If we defend well and we take our chances, we'll go win. Still continue with the system. People where they find good football, go and watch Barcelona, go watch Real Madrid. Mm. League football is different from competition. True. You can't play good football in competition. Like, lie. You have to be dynamic, flexible, and also you have to win. So this system makes so much sense because we did based on defense. Like the greatest coach talk. Goals win you matches. Defense win you titles. Do you know the coach? All right, not be small, Santi, but then before we walk out, come out from this one, we can sign the African Cup of Nations. Make we sharply take a look at the quarterfinal fixtures that will go happen starting from on Friday. And of course, Nigeria versus Angola. Nigeria straight winning. It's not because I've been be Nigeria, but... No, no, because they were South African. Because the fact that if you look at Nigeria, be the off all, all the teams already this eighteen, Nigeria mm. be the little if they don't concede only one go so far, and they get one of the neatest defense. And of course, uh, DR Congo Guinea, remember, he gets us their own qualification take B, B ten man Egypt talking about DR Congo, and of course for Guinea last minute goal, now they take qualify. qualify DR Congo Guinea. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding Mali me? Mali Kodi to go through. As a first, Kodi to go through. Cote d'Ivoire to go through. Mm. And we see so the struggles go. of Cote d'Ivoire so for the group stages. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, uh, manage comeback against Senegal. Uh, Mali Cote d'Ivoire. Mali get a good team. Mali know they want to play their star man. Whereas the Suma don't play at all for their last match. Mm. But they get a very dynamic team. If Ivory Coast sleep on Mali, Mali beat Ivory Coast. Mali to beat Ivory Coast. And of course, surprise, surprise um, uh, people for inside, I mean, team for inside this whole setup, Cape Verde. South Africa. South Africa. South Africa, not South Africa will win. Hmm. You know why? I won't play South Africa. Cape Verde get a good team. But that's South Africa team. There's something they unique about them too. I know if we put them there. Maybe because all of them they get by head or they get a bus. <laughs> but South Africa go win because I don't mean Nigeria plays South Africa. Hmm. Yes. Because anybody will win for this match and Nigeria yeah. go face. Yeah. Yes. All right. So now here and you self fit. Dr. Congo, Guinea now. Okay. DR Congo, Guinea. <laughs> Congo go win. Uh, Guinea, hmm. good team. Fantastic team, but Congo get ballers mm. and they get good strikers. Also, they get um 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 Bakambu, uh, Wisa, and they get one other guy who they run like Toki for their wing. What's called the goal for their for their first match. So Congo win, Congo win. So, All right, uh, you sir, fit to make your own predictions as you take Siam for the quarter final fixtures. We go start on Friday. Nigeria, Angola, Nigeria, Congo, Guinea, Mali, Cote d'Ivoire, and of course Cape Verde, South. Africa. Make your own predictions. Make we for know whether you totally agree with the guys for Inside We Podcast. Okay, before we go into the next yearning point, I want to just ask the guys for Inside uh, the Podcast um, your general assessment of the AFCON so far in terms of um, uh, organization. Beautiful. That's mm. all. Well, um, it did okay for me. Mm. Especially the area of um, officiating and the way they, they use their VR, they're very spot on. Because they make me believe, say, the one where EPL and other leagues they show us, nah, nah, then they do the real one. You mm. know, I never see anything. I never, everything they just, just perfectly okay. You understand? Everything they okay. Es, es, except um, for some one or two areas where you get some games where you expect the stadium to jack pack mm. with some. No, that one, the problem with African football. Yeah, it has always been like that. Every AFCON, apart culture, from, I think, yeah. the game, uh, the, the first game um, between um, Cote d'Ivoire and Guinea Bissau, Guinea -Bissau. stadium full, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, stadium full. See the rest. Now, hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Cameroon, Cameroon, Nigeria, says stadium full small. Apparently. All right, and make we just touch briefly on Musala and of course in Saga as it's a concern. Egypt don't go out. And of course, a lot of people they expect say Egypt could go far. They are seven times champion, going for the eighth title, and unfortunately they meet their uh their Waterloo, their, their their Waterloo and of course then Waka come out. But then Musala, if to say Musala no get that wound job, mm -hmm. Egypt for still go far. 
No, uh, it depends. I don't believe say Egypt to go even go far. It was a get down jury for no even qualify for round of 16. Hmm. Yeah, because so now it will still be the same ten and ten. Same thing. You played their first game when they need to be scored the late penalty for their first game. Egypt just like something that they, they wrong with the English arms court. Mm. Mm. They don't get that 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 dog in them. You know they like before. Don't forget that English arms court will do so well where they get leaders in defense, in midfield, and also in attack. Asan their captain, their goalkeeper. I don't forget his name. And also Abu Treka. So they get leaders everywhere. The pressure did too much on Salah. One man can never build the forest. So no matter what they do, now nah, and also the dish are not they expect too much from Salah. You know, say when you don't blow so up, when you don't mm. blow too much, like so much pressure comes on. You know, be everybody go fit to him, be able to fit carry him. So don't be Salah for that. But then North African countries, the whole of them, out of the Afco. Mm. So beautiful that the best thing was sweet to me. Ah, mm. I was so happy. Wow. Because on a good day, apart from sporting activities, these North Africans, they really didn't be African, no. Hmm. Can you so, go back to the World Cup? Where hmm. Morocco opened their mouth, talk to they represent the, the Arab, Arab world. world. Yes. If you come out sports, they don't count as Africans. I have nothing against them. But if you play a competition, be proud of playing in the competition. So are they very, very happy? It's all of them, Jabo. Uh, well, uh, I don't get anything against them, but again, I feel say I feel give us, I feel, I feel give, uh, give, uh, get a few excuses for them. Maybe the weather condition of the place where the tournament they take they take place at the moment, Cote d'Ivoire, it is extremely hot, and we know say most of these North African countries they don't like the harsh condition of that weather, especially mm-hmm. where the the the, uh, the air where they breathe in, the complacency they very very hot and they struggle to good, get those. Air. So that thing too might i'm not talking about him feed be one of the contributing factors why most of them struggle teams like tunisia quick come they don't qualify for round of 16 morocco then tunisia no win one single game <laughs> nobody say hey what egypt they bring one when they, when they win seven nations cup that's not an excuse they don't form. Hmm. all right from that one we will wrap up on top of uh, afcon and shapali waka enter inside the premier league k b where to be that in name no KDB is back. Yes, yeah, so KDB is back. Uh-huh. And of course, uh, Kombi like say, things won't turn around for Man City. I don't like that guy. I vex. Uh-huh. What did he do? You? Cheat. Hmm. You cannot be that talented. He vex me. Like, you make others look like fool. Like, we need to sign petition to ban him. <laughs> or get injured more. <laughs> that guy come back. You see that match when he come against Newcastle? That pass. Oh no, boy. it's not normal. Oh it's a mentor. You know better for him. It's not normal. <laughs> Why would you pass and why would you shoot that kind of go? Who are you? It's illegal. Mm. It's illegal. That's not why. See, that's not why they always get injured. The talent is too much. I like him, but I still don't like him. It's not. It's unfair. And I don't come city for they win. Imagine you have a team winning. You come to one of the best players join the team. Is that is that right? What does this mean for the title race? Uh, it shows you Man City they, they prepare and like it would be like one of those old stories. They don't show us over the years countless times they be contenders for the league. Mm. And uh, if they follow the history of English Premier League over the last ten years, that is if you're smart enough to know football, you know, be people started to watch football two three years ago. Mm. Understand? Congratulations to them. <laughs> you understand? Mm. And we need to talk about teams where we say if us now go up, they go up. If us now go down, they go show. They go show themselves. You understand? We talk about people who know the league, like we know the league. Right. You understand? So um, for um, Kevin De Bruyne to come back, na na, na part of. The, the quality where um, the coach Pep Guardiola get at, at in disposal be that. Mm. You could not say, yes, this one. And that is why other teams, when they get opportunity to stay at that number one spot, may they, t- may they live there for a long time. But when you get opportunity to come number one, you're going to drop, drop, drop. You go hard for any other team, especially when do that p- team where they feel say, point, uh, the that particular seconds. place, now they are bet right. So uh, I think not just for Man City, but a good one for the League as itself. More look at uh, Mauricio Pochettino. Don't it's coach Southampton. Don't coach Tottenham. No trophy. Iwakago PSG. Manage win trophy. Back to England. He never still win trophy. But luckily for him, Chelsea don't qualify for the final of the Carabao Cup. Pochettino will finally win trophy. In first ever trophy with Chelsea this season. If you like you win, I don't care. But I want me to lose him. He's not a good coach. Hmm. He's a good coach. Coaching average clubs. Mm. So managers are prone and primed to coach average clubs because they know if deal with the ego of big players. Good example, Una Emery, fantastic coach. But for big clubs, he flopped heavily. And when he go to average clubs, Aston Villa, Villarreal, Valencia, the numbers they there to see. Same with Pochettino. When he did Espanyol, good. Uh, 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 Santantin, good. Tottenham Hotspur, good. 
go PSG, exposed. Come Chelsea, partially exposed. So I like him, but you know the whether he win that trophy or not. Now, nah, just go. I give him to the end of the season. One month for the Gusaka. Um, make we sharply go sharply. Uh, do you want to consign your hand club? And now saying they will go at the end of the season. How you feel? Say prim- Premier League good day without a coach of that caliber. We know the competition, the rivalry between him, Pep Guardiola, Ateta, um, even Eric Ten Hag and all that. And now, gradually, gradually, be like, say, Premier League, don't they lose some kind of big coaches? And the latest person will go come out now, now you're in club at the end of the season. How you feel, say, Premier League will still be, go still day that tight? Premier League, they very, very interesting before you come. Hmm. When you go, Premier League will still be interesting. Premier League, you like barracks, soldier come, soldier go. Barracks but not be any house soldier. Relax. When we read the common for England, people shout. Premier League go so sweet again. As you come on, you know sweet. Hmm. Uh, what it be name? Jogan Club come Premier League. So as they come out another coach if you come. We see get Zavi, they will up their game. They feel sign Zavi that you come there. A teta if you come out from Premier League, go Spanish League, go make different. The same way. Wait now. That way you don't affect on be. The same way. Pochettino, if he win this EFL Cup final, mm, content mm. too. Mm. You understand? She don't know they have. I'm saying average team. Abi, that because that average team now content to better team, mm. and he go the, he go grow with the team. You can't be forced to reckon with. So now so he go be. I don't really feel so he go affect the the value of Premiership because of one coach come out. Which you want to talk on that one? Uh, like Premier League is bigger than any brand. Mm. We don't see the best of coaches. We stay 20 something years. Salis Ferguson and Asenwenga. They left. League still day. Premier League, they marketable. Well packaged. Packaging, they said the Premier League. Money day. So I think go. Another code will also make sense. So managers don't hold the league. Now players, they more important than even managers. And players, they go, they come. Premier League, no get the two. No get Messi. Still better. They get Ronaldo or sometimes they're still better. Ronaldo come, still come on. They're still better. So. Talent does not hold the Premier League. Those who they in charge then get sense. Well All packaged. right. Finally, before we walk out, come out, um, but we talk about Manchester United and the league of very problems useless club. Where we say then they get, especially very useless when it comes to disciplinary problems. We don't see the likes of ah. Cristiano Ronaldo get issues uh, after everything. He go, he do interview. Bias club too. Open. Bias. We get Anthony with this domestic violence and all that issue. I dislike that guy. Jordan Sancho with his own wahala and, you know, you they lie, you they lie on top in coach head and all that. It come out. Now, the latest Mason person. Mason Greenwood. Don't talk about Mason Greenwood. Uh-huh. Mason Greenwood the uh, well, yeah, sexual right. assault case and rape case and everything. Then now, the latest person now, now Marcus Rashford, they party. They come training late. They call in sick. After he don't go party finish, she my United problem got to do with all this disciplinary. No, they are cost. No, they are cost. They are Manchester United seriously cost. Wow. And they get cost players. Hmm. Good example. What will be that boy name? Anthony. That boy if I catch I go pit him. Like when he scored that goal against Newport hmm. in first goal of the season, shameless player. This guy gonna do tea celebration against Newport. What they like fifth or fourth league. Against Newport, where a Jegule FC go beat. I, eh, on God, my people, if I play Newport, I go beat them. Now you score one go, call they do tea celebration. A verse. I was so angry. Mm. Like, I was so angry. Anthony, the worst player in the universe, do tea celebration. I'm pissed off. I, I don't like Laba inputs about Manchester United, mm. sincerely speaking. Okay. You understand? All right. Laba go need to write long apology letter. Mm. Come on the national radio or TV. Apologize to Manchester United. Go mm. pocket up. You understand? Apologize to be professional. Apologize to Manchester United FC and their fans mm. in Nigeria. Start and parade. You yeah. understand? Start mm. You don't just open mic and say Manchester yeah, United are cause and useless. No, Who no. cause them? I cause them. See, when Every club they go through faces. Okay. You understand? This thing fits so them. So these disciplinary issues now. Nah, nah, this thing never. Wait, make make us a question. Since Alex Vegas in comment till now, you never reach tennis. Put together. So who's for? You understand? So Who they go, go they, they go get them right. All right. When? They go get them right. Let the man the right management take over. Not just take over. If person that have interest in football purchase a larger part of the shares, go see the new turn about United. 
This thing where they talk, every Manchester United fan knows in their mind that they speak. And they are most, I'm, I'm the most expensive. Why do politics? I'm not playing politics. I'm, and they say the truth. So you know, just because United are useless, you know, Anthony has the five No, the truth is, they can actually get quality Which players. Which position they come up for? You understand? They can, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> let <me> talk. <laughs> they can actually get quality players. Uh -huh. First of all, when they get the right management, all right. Mm. and the right management staff will be right. When they get the right, go upload the right my, uh, uh, my team manager, then they cannot scout. You said this thing like five times. Make your point players. and drop it. Even though say they don't your close, them, even though yes. say they don't close that matter against Marcus Rashford, mm. we don't see players like Greenwood that send them out on loan. They know they can come back to the no, club. Mess up. That and, and, matter we don't see uh, players like Ronaldo. Ronaldo. We mess up. Then sell them. They will carry the go to Exactly. We sell. I know better it. for them. Now, what will be the befitting punishment for Marcus Rashford? Because we don't they hear rumor now say it's like PSG. Uh, they say they don't have to have, they, they, they don't have to have internally. Maybe the only punishment I say no play against Newport. They say they don't have to have internally. Because if you say this one will die down like this, I because they are boring now. I won't make it. Maybe, maybe now, one of, see now one of the finest English talent. Be that's month. And they're not going to like do everything again. to Jap Japan. They don't. They don't lose a lot. You just call the name now, Messi, Greenwood. They don't lose out to Spanish La Liga. You understand? They don't lose many players. This guy don't go back to Borussia Dortmund. You Jeff know why Sancho. I ask this question? So because like... you talk say when they go buy new players, mm. and now every club for England they fear to even buy player because of to break financial rules. Yes. Then they even fear. To even renew the existing contract of players where they dare for fear of breaking the financial yes. rules. And that also includes say, how many talents mm. they on ground right now where we feel risk your money put. So whether you like it or not, Marcus Rashford now one of the most exposed players, one of yes, the finest English talents where they get. So and they go like to everything. According to Yan, they say no be today, don't they drink, they do all this nonsense. No, Since there's plenty. Then plenty. There's pl but I feel, I feel name, we have name, seen it all. It's so evident in English his performance. Where they drink. Put your mouth for Mike. I feel name five. Five, ten English players will be saying in the full they they drink. Drink. Marcus well, Rashford no. is a young talent. We all know. In the full he drink. gets MBE. The reason why I'm very particular about Marcus mm. Rashford and this issue where he get be saying, mm. no be today, and he gets center party. Mm. He don't take. Mm. And now, is. you know, go understand. <laughs> and now, so have to understand. he can't deal like this. Everybody puts Marcus Rashford up there before. But since something is wrong somewhere for this the club man, do they go down? With the club? See, I don't know whether I'm assist whether increasing money, money to 350,000 no, no, per week. No, 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 no. That was an individual problem. You get a good call self-discipline. There are some there are you some get issues. A lot of them plenty. Wait, may I talk? A lot of them no, plenty. No, no, no. Talk, 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 please, excuse me. I make point. Because I don't need to make point. You don't insult them. You them. A lot of English talent get that issue. You understand? From Jagrilish when he did, how do they call him? Aston Villa. The manager for him. Even before Paul Gascoigne, before, before Paul Gascoigne, when I started to watch football, Paul Gascoigne get that issue. You understand? He still got the issue You understand? They're the manager for him. Phil mm. Foden for Man City. That small boy. Uh, what did be named? This one where they play, where they Chelsea, now Ram Sterling. Now, no matter for those English guys. You understand? No matter, or is it the fame, now, the spotlight? the money, the pogre. Remember, say... Um, what it be named? Silas Ferguson. Before, before United manager, don't talk about. You see, the money they play these English guys, they make them misbehave. Even David Beckham tested that part, where uh, you go buy one moto, where Silas Ferguson say go return this car. You don't need this car now, because of the car grade they collect every week at that time for Manchester United. So this thing are not like tradition for English boys. They don't expect the kind of money that they get. So they go tend to misbehave the user. So now how you take manage this your discipline? How you take manage yourself? You feel saying I waiting make only Michael Owen be the only Englishman who don't win Ballon d'Or to date. English players are normally overrated now. Hmm. The academies in England are useless. They don't submit anything now. You own nothing they attack. Like me. English football, they get coaches. When was the last time you see an English coach go outside go play football? Overrated, mainly. If not for the foreign talents, English football is useless. So nothing. That one only is English. Nothing. Guys, make a talk. I'll show you talk. Talk, or talk. So English football is always overrated from day one. And whether I like him or not, footballers always misbehave. It's part of it's part of it. But misbehave and take responsibility. But mind you own that Eric Tayangi don't mind you as military cantonment. Every club they get their internal issues. Yeah. Solve internally. We don't, we don't need to know I want to solve them. You don't come as a content press, say uh, that because say uh, you their internal investigation, blah blah blah. That's what they being punished. Why? If coaches they come and tell you what did they do, club took at one time. 
handle it now. That, that's how you win the thrust of your dressing room. So we interact. Punish him internally. Yes. But make you no come outside. How long if you say Ten Hag will last for that team? Soon. I'm going to sack him now. Very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and again, to the end of the season. Very soon. <laughs> see, they, they see last, they see soon. Very soon, they will suck Very soon. You know, go last this season. It's done. It's because they know go champions. If you say don't lose the dressing room. Oh, on, yeah, you don't lose and since. Ah. 100%. Don't lose the confidence of that dressing room. So All right, my people. What's the equipment and the management? Hmm. Yeah, not the management. All right, my people. Now, don't hear from the guys. And, of course, uh, now time for now to also shook my put for matter. Especially if you be my United fan. Things are not going well for your club right now, both internally and, of course, on top pitch. Ah, uh, now here we got the pause on top football made a podcast uh, uh, with the Republicans. Make you join us next time, but don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, share, and of course, uh, follow us uh, on top of social media platform. My name is Steve Jovita, it can never change. And of course, thank you to Emmanuel and of course, uh, Onokalo Nyebuchi for their contributions as, as usual. We could enjoy on a day. Oh,